Uh, we also have here um, an explosion proof application that we did for these propane tanks. Um, you can see this uh, conduit on the left here. Um, this is the one that uh, we installed. Uh, you can see how it has to go, um, it has to be installed uh, per NEC code to this flexible coupling right here. Um, and that's to cut down on any vibrations uh, that that line is going to experience as a result of that pump running. Um, then it runs right into the pump there. If you follow it back, uh, it's braced nice. Let's take a look at it. Uh, Nice and straight there, all the way up until we make our turn here and kick up onto the wall. I'll follow this wall. Oop, ladder. And it runs back. We ran it all the way back up and along here behind this pressure washer. Runs back over to here. And that's the end of our explosion proof seal off zone. From there, we uh, switched over to um, just exterior rated uh, conduit and run up into this box where we you can see that uh, that extra piece we installed this here to run into this breaker here and that's our that's our um, our breaker for that actually I'm sorry I installed this um, not this breaker but uh, this disconnect here I installed this for the pressure washer you can see it says VHG that means variable hot gas that's the designation on that machine. So, um, yeah, I did install this one, but that was for this pressure washer here. Uh, this was existing, so we have that installed, and it runs up and through this, uh, this stop switch here. So, um, yeah, that was uh, the last uh, hazardous location application that we did. A um, uh, little bit of wiring for this pressure washer, but most of it... Uh, in this area, anyway, was um, to run this uh, propane tank here. So that's that, and that's how it's done.